I'm going to edit this video using nothing but Descript's built-in free layouts that come with every Descript account. Right here, right off the bat, I'm going to take this first sentence where I'm quoting him. I'm going to just say to write there. I'm going to create a slash. That's going to make this first part a scene so that all the layouts are applied scene by scene. So now if I come into the scene properties over on the right side, I click on layout, change layout pack, gallery. This is where all of Descript's built-in layouts are going to be. And then I can find one of these styles that I like. So like, for example, Helsinki Blueberry, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say see layouts, and then I can pick anything I want here. What I want to happen here is for the words to be on the screen. So I'm going to find one of the captions layouts, for example, this one. And you can see when you hover over it, it gives you a little preview of how that layout's going to look. So this one is going to put me on the right side, and then it's going to put the captions over on the left side against a black background. So with my playhead currently inside of scene one, I'll click on that. And look at that, it did it. Now there's a little bit of adjusting that's needed. So for example, with my video here, I'm a little bit off center. So what I can do is double click on that and slide it over, just clicking and dragging to the left. And you can see the grid line so I can match myself up in the middle there and I'll hit done. And now let's play that. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. So that was the first one. Let's go on to the second one. Right here where I say it's like grooming a dog. I used to run a dog grooming business. I'm gonna put a slash right there. And then a couple sentences later, I'm gonna put another slash. So now that is my scene number three. So inside of scene number three, I'm gonna come back to the scene, back to choose layouts. And I'm gonna scroll through here. Actually that media one, I'm gonna pick media. So I'm gonna say 15 more. And I'm gonna choose one of these. The, the white box in the corner is a placeholder element. So I'm going to add one of these and then replace that placeholder element with some B-roll of a dog. I'll go with this one. Click on that. And there's my placeholder element. And there's my video. I'm going to click on the placeholder element. Say add media. Add stock media. And then I got all these different choices here. Or I can search. So I can type in dog groom like that. Under videos, I'm going to say show more. And let's do this one, this uh, wet, sad looking Yorkie here. I'm going to click on it. It says importing video. And now that's been added to my scene. So let's play this. Pretty cool. And then a couple sentences down, I say, and when we were done with them, they looked like this. This time I'm going to go to scene, choose layout, media. I'm going to go to a full screen B-roll. So I'm going to click on that. And you see my placeholder takes up the whole scene this time. But as before, I click on the placeholder element itself. I get this add media button that appears over it. Click on that. Say add stock media. And I'm going to say groomed dog. This might give me a little different result. Something like that. I'm going to click on it. And there we go. So let's play it. Okay, pretty cool. Next one. So right here, I say I've taught hundreds of students Descript. And one thing I always get asked. So I'm going to right where I say hundreds of students, I'm going to add a scene there. And a scene after Descript. And then as always, I'm going to come to scene, choose layout. And what I want to do for this one is the one called big fact right here, hit one more, you can see the different ones, the different options that are inside of this big fact category. I'm going to click on this one. And here's a preview of how it looks. I'm going to change this to hundreds. And I'm going to say students, I've taught Descript, something like that. And by the way, if you don't know, I do Descript tutoring and I have a Descript course. You can check the link in the description for more about that. And as before, it, it makes me kind of off to the right. So I'm going to double click on myself and slide myself over so that I'm more centered. And it looks like this. And then this next one is another quote. So I'm going to just make a slash out of that a slash before I start my quote and a slash out at the end. And then I'm going to click into that scene back to the scene properties, choose layout, 
and let's do a caption again for this one. And this time you see the little preview of the guy in the background and then the captions are on top of them. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on that. And you see it added a gradient, this black gradient at the bottom. And then it put the captions layer over that gradient. Here's how it looks. Like that. Okay, so down here, I'm listing things. So let's try one of the list layouts. I'm going to put a slash before where I say step one and a slash all the way at the end when I'm done with my step number four. Click into the scene, choose layout, and scroll down through the layout options. And let's go to list. And I'm going to choose, it's kind of a long list. So I'm going to put myself in the bottom right. You see how the preview of the guy is in the bottom right. And the list is going to be over here on the left. Click on that. Look at that. It put my video into that view. And if I double click on my little preview here, I can center myself as always. Hit done. That looks a lot better. All of these items are just placeholders. So where it says title, I'm going to say editing cycle because that's what I'm talking about. It put it into two rows. So I'm going to grab this box and space it out so that it's just on one row. And here's the thing about these lists is if I show my timeline, make this a little bigger, the list element is one text element right now, but I want these to pop up as I say them one at a time. So what I'm going to do is actually delete these second bullet points. Just keep this first one here. And I'm going to say, play through your video. I'm going to make it a little bigger and I'm going to make it narrower. So it just has that one element. And then I'm going to hit Command D on Mac keyboard, Control D on Windows to duplicate that layer. And you now see I have two list objects. And with the one that I just duplicated, I dragged it down below the first one. And that's going to be my second item. So step number two is going to be make a change like that. And now here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to back up a second and play it. They both pop up at the same time which is not what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the text down here on the timeline. So you see where the words are play through video. I'm going to take my first bullet point where I'm saying play through video, and I'm going to change where it begins so that it starts over the words play through video. And then the next one, step two, whenever you see something you want to change, then I'm going to start that text layer. So I'm going to grab my second bullet point and drag it over those words like this. Like that. And then I'm going to repeat that for every item in my list. And here we go. Here's my four bullet points that pop up as I mention each step in this editing cycle process. And the last layout I'm going to show you is an outro. So if I come to the very end of this where I'm saying, check out this video next to learn how to edit more efficiently, once again, I'm going to make a new scene out of that by typing a slash, a forward slash before the word check and clicking into that scene. Then I'm going to come to the scene layouts. I'm going to scroll down through here. There's an outro scene. I'm going to click six more. And let's see our choices here. I like this one. It just says, thanks for watching. It's got placeholders. I'm going to click on that. It's got two placeholders where I could put in images or screenshots from the next video, but I'm actually going to do that in YouTube. So what I'm going to do is just delete those placeholders. And then there's the words up next and another suggestion. So inside of YouTube studio, I'm going to add the up next video and another suggestion. That's how you use Descript's layouts to improve your videos and edit quickly. If you want to join me on a live stream and submit a request to watch me make a layout for you live, Click the video on your screen to get notified about when that's happening.